Hello everyone, in this particular lecture, we are going to learn how to load data into a snowflake table from Amazon S3 bucket. So this is the new GUI interface of Snowflake. If you do not have this account, you must create it first. So first of all, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in the Google search bar. I'm going to open my AWS console. I'm going to type AWS in the Google search bar. I'm going to click this particular link and then I'm going to sign in uh, to the console. Uh, okay, fine. I'm going to select the root user, provide my uh, email address and then the password here. Okay, just provide the password here. Click sign in. This is going to take me to the AWS console. And afterwards, I'm going to click the S3 bucket. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new S3 bucket and I'm going to upload a CSV file which is located in my in my computer system. So this is the file that I'm going to load, uh, I'm going to upload, okay? Uh, look, so this is CSV comma delimited file. So create a new bucket, uh, provide the bucket name, Bucky2020. 2010 is the name of bucket create a bucket so a new bucket has been created now go to the bucket and I'm going to upload a file upload a file add files and I'm going to upload this video games.csv file which I'm going to load in my uh, snowflake target table okay the the file has been uploaded successfully in in my bucket the next step is go to the services go to the im and i'm going to create a policy for my bucket and i'm going to go to the policy section go to the policies create a policy and json so policy is a json document so this is my policy just copy paste this okay now here i'm going to provide the bucket name so in my case the bucket name is 2010 which i have just created so this is going to be the name now okay create uh, click next next okay policy name policy 2010 is the policy name create policy so this is going to create my policy for my s3 bucket okay now the policy has been created successfully this is the name next i'm going to create a role uh, create role and aws account and okay click next and select the policy so this is the policy I'm going to create a role for my policy this one click next and provide the role name 2010 is the role name okay click create role so role has been created successfully afterwards I'm going to go to the uh, role and I have to copy this ARN I need this ARN but First of all, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to create a new worksheet in Snowflake. And I have to make sure that this is the role in the Snowflake is account admin. It is set to account admin. This one compute underscore WH is the default warehouse. Okay. Now, first of all, let me just select no database selected. I have to select the database Snowflake. Let me just select the Snowflake database. So these two databases are already present are default databases when you're going to create a new Snowflake account. So from the from this database, I'm going to create a warehouse. So warehouse in Snowflake provides the required resources such as CPU, memory and temporary storage to perform the DML operations. So let me just copy paste uh, these three queries and let me just paste here in my worksheet snowflake so i'm going to create a new warehouse dwh underscore wh is the name of my warehouse execute it has been executed successfully now dbt 
underscore db is the name of my database create this and database name and the schema name is prod so it has been created successfully afterwards i am going to create a new integration object so the purpose of integration object is that it helps you to connect to the AWS bucket. So I'm going to copy paste these commands here, this command here. And so while creating this uh, integration object, I need to provide these two information. Okay, ARN. So this ARN, I'm going to get it from here. Let me just provide it here copy paste and bucket name is 2010 is the bucket name okay object underscore 2010 is the integration object run execute create it has been created successfully afterwards I'm going to use this describe uh, command describe command to get the information so I'm going to get two things from this command I'm going to show you first let me just execute this sorry I have to use this integration object let me just paste here run okay bucket name is bucky2010 which is my bucket name and I need the external id and the user arn so first of all let me just select my external id which i'm going to use here so external id i'm going to use in my trust relationship section edit the trust policy and i have to copy this trust policy here let me first copy this and let me just paste this here and let me just copy and paste here update policy so the policy has been updated successfully so afterwards I'm going to create a new CSV format uh, file format so I'm going to go in my worksheet create a format the format name is csv underscore format type is file is csv it is comma uh, delimited file skip header e header equals to one it means that i'm not going to include the header row in my final target table so just execute this command so executed successfully uh, the file format has been created so next I'm going to create the stage area. The purpose of this area is that a stage specifies where data files are stored so that the data in the files can be loaded in, in, into a table. So let me just use this command. Okay, stage area, let me just give the stage area name and object. The object name is this one bucket name is 2010 is the bucket name file format is the this csv format execute this and this has been executed successfully the last step is that i have to create a table and then have to use the copy into command to load the data load the file in my final target table so i don't have this table in my database so i'm going to create it replace table has been created let me show you my database this is the database okay and let me show you this is the schema prod and this one is my target table okay the last step is to use the copy into command to load the uh, file data in in my final target table so I will use this command and 2010 is the name of stage areas no stage okay so 
ओके फाइल हैज बिन लोडेड सक्सेसफुली रोज लोडेड नाइन नाइन एट लेट मी चेक अगेन हाउ मैनी रोज आर इन माई सी एस सी फाइल सो लेट मी जस्ट काउंट द नंबर सो नाइन नाइन एट देर आर नाइन नाइन एट रोज इन माई सी एस सी फाइल विच हैव बिन लोडेड सक्सेसफुली दीज रोज हैव बिन लोडेड सक्सेसफुली नाउ लेट मी जस्ट क्वेरी द टॉप टेन रोज ऑफ माई टेबल प्रोडक्ट टेबल so the the warehouse have selected this dwh underscore wh which is my warehouse which have just created database is i am in database dbt db uh, prod okay now execute this select command look data has been loaded successfully so hope you understood this concept thank you so much and have a great learning